Hello, Melina. How are you doing today? Hi, Anna. I'm doing great. All right. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Uh, who are you and where are you from? I'm Melina Cermeno. Everyone calls me Mina. I'm a 13-year-old Latina actress living in Vancouver, BC. Can you tell us how you got this part and how you prepared for the audition? Well, I first became aware of this role through me and my mother's good friend, Monica Dalman, who runs her own casting company. And she actually recommended me for this role and sent us all the information. And I thought it would be perfect for me. To prepare, I watched shows like One Day at a Time, Ashley Garcia on Netflix, just one episode of each to kind of get that Latin gist. It's kind of the similar vibe they're going for. And I'm actually really similar to the character. We have a lot in common. So I brought my own original spin on it and just went gung-ho and auditioned. And here I am today. In your own words, tell us about what Growing Up With Me Familia is. Growing Up With Me Familia revolves around the main character, Alicia Torres, a teen growing up in the 2000s. And it's just about her school life, her home life, especially about her Mi Familia, her crazy love of a Latin family and all the stuff and adventures they go through. And she couldn't do it without her best friend, Kai. And yeah, it's just a show with a bunch of great, lovable family moments. And I think you'll love it. Tell us about your character. Who is going to love this character? I think a lot of girls are going to love this character. Everyone can relate to Lucia in some way. You know, we all have embarrassing moments. I know I have a lot of them. And she really resembles kind of the struggle that we go through dealing with school, dealing with family, dealing with extracurriculars, with our dreams and goals, with friends. And Lucia is very honest and she's very real and she never hides how she's feeling. And I think everyone's just going to fall in love with Lucia. How is this character like you? Or different? Well, a couple of ways me and Lucia are similar is that we both have acting and musical theater and doing plays at school and putting ourselves out there. We both can be really frantic and all over the place at times. And we both just love our family and friends. Some ways we're different are is Lucia is a huge klutz. And I'm not really like that, but that can be relatable for a lot of people. Um, you know, now that I think about it, that's the only way we're different, honestly. Me and this character are literally so much alike. It's kind of like playing a 2000s me. Do you think it's easier to play a character that is like you or is different than you? Well, luckily, I've been given opportunities to play characters similar and different. For me, it's really fun playing characters similar to me because I can relate a lot more. But also, I do really enjoy playing characters different because the whole process of just researching and really digging deep, it just, I really enjoy the whole process of it and kind of developing this new persona and it's really rewarding at the end to place a character totally different than you and then seeing your performance come to life. And what do you love about this character? Well, for starters, I love all of Lucy's outfits, um, just her fashion sense and she's not afraid to just be bold and her crazy fashion choices, it's <laughs> amazing. I love it. I also love the way she carries herself and she's actually very smart very funny, and honestly, it's just so much fun to play Lucia. What was the biggest challenge about taking this role? Well, actually, this is my first lead role ever. It's the most lines I've gotten in any kind of script. And I was really hard on myself in the beginning of the process. Just, I put a lot of pressure and stress on myself. But after we finished filming the first episode, just feeding off everyone's energy and knowing that everyone had my back, I've just learned to go with the flow and have fun. Besides yourself, what celebrity could you see playing this character? That would definitely have to be Isabella Merced. I'm a big fan of her myself, and I could totally see her nailing this character as well. If you could play any other character in this show, who would it be? It would definitely have to be Kai. It would be so fun being the quirky, fun best friend. And Kai and Lucia go on all sorts of adventures and some tough times and fun times. And I would love that. And without giving anything away, what is your favorite dialogue in this show? Well, 
in the start of the episode, there's a scene in the bathroom, and I'm not going to give anything away, but some of my favorite lines in the script that I say are in that scene. Okay, now let's talk about you. If they were to make a Lifetime movie about you, uh, what celebrity would play you? I love that question. <laughs> um, I would have to say teen Selena Gomez, like when she was doing the Wizards of Waverly Place, that Selena Gomez, I would love her to play me. When did you start acting? I first started acting, like doing theater and all that stuff when I was six years old. But when I really buckled down and got serious about it as being an actual like career for the future was when I was 11 years old. So two years ago. This is your first role. So what was it like being on set? Well, actually, I've been grateful enough to have been on other projects. But as my first lead role being on set, it was super fun. Just the whole cast and crew is so friendly and welcoming. And I've gotten pretty close with everyone the past weekend that we shot the first episode. And it was just a blast. Besides this one, obviously, what's your favorite TV show? Um, okay, all-time favorite show is RuPaul's Drag Race, hands down. I rewatch it over and over and over again. I laugh so much when I watch RuPaul. <laughs> it's like my favorite show ever. Um, I love Martin Family. I'm almost done it, and it's super funny. I love Jay and Gloria, and I love like British, like reality TV, like the documentaries, like on penny pinching and on hoarding and stuff like that. They're so entertaining to me. I love watching them. And who do you look up to as an actor? Well, in acting, I really look up to Sandra Bullock. I feel like she's never made a bad movie and she really commits to all her characters and you can tell that she puts a lot of work into it. And even watching her interviews, I really respect her and look up to her. And for theater and also just everyday life, I look up to Todrick Hall, his just his confidence, the way he carries himself, him like not afraid to be himself, just putting himself out there, giving 100% energy to everything he does. Like, I just admire that so much. And I would love to see him in a Broadway musical one day. Who is the funniest person on the cast in real life? I would have to say Juana, who plays my mom. And what do you do when you're not acting? When I'm not acting, you will find me either in the studio, at the gym, or in my room practicing my dance. Um, I think dance and acting are two of my main, two of my passions. I love to do them. Any chance I get, I'm dancing. And you can actually check my Instagram. My latest post is a dance video I did at Harbor Dance. And yeah, go check it out. Okay, if you had a magic wand, what show would you do next? I would love to do something really campy in Disney next. Kind of like that Descendants and Zombies movie vibes. And be a guest judge on RuPaul's Drag Race. Because who doesn't want to be a guest judge in that show, honestly? <laughs> How can people follow you on social media? You can follow me on Instagram at melina.stromeno, on YouTube at melina.stromeno, and you can follow all things Growing Up With Me Familia at Growing Up With Me Familia, all one word, on Instagram. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow me to stay up to date. Thank you so much, Melina, for your time and sharing your experiences with us. Hope to see you again soon. Thank you, Anna. It's so much fun doing this. And don't forget to stay tuned for all things Me Familia. Bye.